Got the season two starting for World of Warcraft. Went five and zero real quick, so I decided to drop a video feeling this. Show you a little bit about uh some arms warrior. That's what I'm rocking this season. He's coming in against Pally Rogue. We just killed Pally Priest or uh, Rogue Priest. It's kind of starting on the Pally, you know what I mean? Kind of throw him off in the beginning, then I just kind of drop some damage on the Rogue, stun him when he goes into evasion, kind of ruin that evasion for him a little bit. You know, try to get him out with an intimidating shout. Didn't work. Uh, but I kind of stay to where I generally know he's going, which is on my uh, Paladin. My Paladin's trying to run away, so I'm just kind of trying to peel for him. He hammers him off of him. Built more distance. I put the hamstring up. Keep the bleed on him. I'm anticipating a stun here, and I did see the kidney, and I got out of it because I hit the stun or the uh, blade storm at the same time. So there, there that was. I'm pretty much just creating general pressure right here. Uh, Use my charge to kind of slow down. I keep the hamstring up on both targets since they're both trying to DPS. I'm waiting for the heal from the pally. It's not coming, so. Derp him. We're on to the next one. Uh, pretty much in the beginning of any arena, I just kind of, I set up, I see what I want to do, I see what I want to put up uh, so far as talents go. I uh, I use a lot of, like against Rogue, I use a lot of War Banner, um, I use a lot of uh, Disarm against uh, Warriors, even Unholy DKs, I don't really use it against like Red Pal and stuff like that, I prefer either Duel for Peels, or I'll use uh, just the, the Storm of Destruction and try to anticipate the uh, the Hammer of Justice. So you'll see me do that in the beginning of the arenas. It's kind of why I left this little clip in right here. Um, your main damage on a warrior is obviously your your bleed damage from your mortal wounds, but your way to kill people is to actually, you know, do the mortal strike, war breaker, uh, crushing assault proc, slam. You know, during a CC chain, and you'll see that in this video. You'll see where uh, my paladin actually repentance is a uh, another pally. And I kill his DK. His DK was lining him the whole entire time. And you know, and these are really low MMR. I'm not like a 1400 MMR, but it's the beginning of the season, so you do run into some good players. I actually, after making this video, I lost to a Havoc Demon Hunter and uh, a Restoration Shaman. And, uh, you know, that's a really strong comp for the, when they know how to play because they got a lot of pressure and stuff like that. And they were able to get a lot of hexes off, you know, in prison and stuff of that nature. Plus, they have reverse magic for the Hodge, so it makes it really hard to CC the healer. You kind of have to go healer against them. But this is a survival hunter rogue. I mean, they don't really get to play like they want to. Because survival hunter rogue is a really strong comp if you play it well. I played survival hunter on uh, or during season 1. I got the 2k with him and it was fairly simple. Pretty much right here, I want to keep him stacked up. And then I waited for Vendetta to get popped. And I Intimidating Shadow just to, just to kind of throw him off. Maybe throw a button off. Just hit the D stance. You know, he bopped me too, of course. Start laying down some damage. They're right next to each other the whole entire game, so it makes it pretty easy. Uh, right there, he does get away from my Blade Storm. I try to anticipate where he's going to go. He went he went the opposite way, so he got away, but he dies, you know, very relatively soon, so it's not really a big deal. On to the next one. This is the DK Holy Paladin. This isn't the... the this is the ret version, so they're trying to blow up my healer. No, actually, I think, yeah, it is a ret pally. Okay. And then I wait for the fear out of that stun. No, I don't. That's how I would have played just then if I were going to do it. I think I save it for the cooldowns. Oh, it's a prop pally, actually. Actually, Sorry. I can't even read my own uh, video. Probably time for a better computer. Um, <laughs> so pretty much what's going to happen here is this DK is going to line his prop pally the whole entire time and they're not, not going to be able to do what they want to do my pally's kiting them you know they're not going to be able to they get off a lot uh the pally's staying too close to the the pillar and i'm just keeping the hamstring on him and i'm waiting for the paladin to heal to where i can interrupt here right now i have freedom i can kind of go back and i can do a heal which i'll swap for real quick i don't have my macro set up for a uh, focus pummel but that creates a lot of extra pressure i put the Hammer on him real quick. Stone, stone, storm bolt. And then pretty much right here he's going to be able to get off some heals if he wanted to. He, it's not his priority and it's going to get his teammate killed. 
So they're not really strong teams that we're playing here, but I don't know. I just got kind of horny for the season two uh, <laughs> release, and then we went five and zero real quick with some pug. You know, we're both two K experience, so it didn't really matter. But this is the one where the DK lines is a uh, healer. See, I built really good pressure in the beginning there, and then I fell off, which happens. Video's lagging a little bit. Apologize for that. Pretty much it's just a back and forth. They're swapping. They're trying to kill my pally, but uh, I throw up when he gets a little bit lower. I throw a commanding shout up for him right there. Uh, just trying to keep hamstring up on both of them. Uh, he's got his damage up, so I don't really want to hit him, but I'm gonna go hit him. I'm gonna stop him from getting where he wants to go. You know, make him th blow his death grip, because that can can be crucial later on. I say if I want to run away or he wants to run away. He's got some repentance on my pally, so I stormed in case he was doing it on me. I come out of that, I pummeled his uh his heal. Just keeping the pressure up right now. I got a little free range of damage. I can't really do anything about the heal, so I'm kinda just eating it. Uh once I can though, we apply a little more pressure to the paladin here. I'm gonna stun him out of that. Cause I feel like that's a, you know it's a, a helpful play. Just kinda waiting for the pummel, boom, and then I got the stun after that. Cause he juked my pummel. He's trying to get repentance off. I got a uh, Berserker's Rage. I use that. I don't have anything to hit that heal, so I just keep going. Keep my pressure up. I got my cooldowns coming very shortly. It's going to build a lot of pressure here. I'm ready for that. Got that double intimidating shout off, which is good. Video quality is going down very quickly. I think it's time to defrag my computer. But right there, that was my go. And it's going to make him get so panicked that he's going to line, actually. I'm going to stun his healer up there, drop down. And I'm going to put, apply some pressure. My healer is ready, ready, waiting for him. So as soon as he falls down, he's coming to repentance him. Believe it or not, he actually lives through that. You know, he gets a bop off. You know, boom, bop gets taken off. Just sitting here, I'm getting ready for my next pummel. So when you see the warrior, you kind of play close to the healer. I pummel the repentance because I don't want that extra pressure. So my healer can't do what he's fixing to do right now, which is going to end the game. Hopefully I'm going to swap back over to the rage stance. I don't think I am. But he dies anyway. And that's how it goes.